right, welcome back. Let's get a nice close-up of this bad boy. These are 10-card packs. All right, just have to hold that for the thumbnail. All right, so, yeah, this came today in the mail. I ordered this online because they were way cheaper on TCG Player than in any store around me because shortly after this came out, it crashed. So, I'll be talking about that momentarily, but first, we're doing a giveaway. Giving away the top hit of the box. The top pull of this video will be the giveaway for this video. All you have to do is comment, and then I use a random YouTube comment picker. It's just, a, just an online, anyone can use it. It's just a random YouTube comment picker. And that's how I choose the winner. And then you gotta join the Discord and stuff like that. So... All right, first pack, Alexios, Terminate, Become Anonymous, Alexios Showcase, Etched, Go for the Throat, Uncommon, we've got a Land, Basim, Rare, The Animus, Extended, got, Ooh, Yggdrasil, Mythic, Borderless, that's a really good looking card. Don't know if it's worth much, but holy cow, it looks good. The Spear of Leonidas in Etched. There is at least one Etched Foil in every pack, so Etched Foils are not super rare for this set. So I want to talk about the price fluctuation of this. And it's all Rudy's fault, if any of you know who Rudy of Alpha Investments is. He came out with a video that was like, I ordered hundreds of these boxes and I got 12 and so any price under 350 is amazing and you should buy it and then the price went up to 350 and then lots more of this came onto the open market than it seems that Rudy knew about I don't know what the deal was but yeah these dropped all the way to 240 from 350 silent clearing and foil conspiracy excalibur an Upside Down, The Spear of Leonidas, Extended Foil, and Senu, Etched. Yeah, so, this set did not do as well as at least Rudy was expecting after his little pumping of the prices on TCG Player. Um... Yeah, so this set, it's interesting. So it's not... Yeah, I can't get this pack open. What the heck? It's not as bad as Doctor Who did, but obviously it's nowhere near how well Fallout did. And obviously Lord of the Rings is, also did very well. But I'd say 240 seems to have been the low. Xiao Jun. Very cool. Times two. And Layla Hassan. Abstergo Entertainment, an upside down Raton. I forget how. I would play the game that had this guy in it, but I forget how to pronounce his name. That's a doozy of a name. Leonardo, though. Very cool. Etched Leonardo da Vinci. So, yeah, I mean, the thing about this set, if you, if you look back at at uh trying to do multiple things here if you look back at what was it doctor who those boxes did really bad i mean demand for that set was just not nearly as high as they probably expected it to be so those dropped below 200 those went probably to 190 for months they were below you know the regular price of 225 it took them months to come back up now you look at it we've got what must be done i don't know why that card is upside down in every single one of these packs that's weird altair etched mythic and doctor who it took about i don't know five or six months but the the price finally came back up from 190 to 225 and then after that it just took off and I think Doctor Who is like 275 right now. So it's like even the worst of the Universes Beyond sets 
is way above MSRP now, 275 for a Doctor Who box. So these were at 350, they went down, way down to 240, and then fairly quickly they came back up to 260. They're around 260 at the time of this recording. And I actually think that that is a pretty good price. So if you're looking to pick these up, 260 is probably a pretty good price. Of course, upside down again, Mary Reed and Anne Bonnie, borderless, and then Jacob Fry for the etch. So yeah, that's what I have to say about that. It was just interesting. Rudy did some uh, market manipulation there. Came out with the video and these, on the same day that he uploaded the video, these soared a hundred dollars. And then after the set came out, they crashed a hundred dollars. <laughs> so yeah, just kind of interesting there. Hidden Blade. Don't always take Rudy's word for it. I found that out the hard way with uh, Baldur's Gate. Black Market Connections. That's a really good card. Speaking of Baldur's Gate, Black Market Connections. That was an interesting coincidence there. The Spear of Leonidas, an upside down Jacob Fry, borderless. Or is that the showcase? That's what the showcase is for this set. And then Mary Reed and Anne Bonnie. All right, yeah, that Black Market Connections. I think that card at one point was really expensive, but it has come down over time, and now they reprinted it. So now it's significantly less than it once was. I think it was like the one from uh, like the Extended Art one was like $30 or $40 at one point. Origins of the Hidden Ones. All right, Ezio, Brash Novice, Viewpoint Synchronization, Fiery Islet. These are, they're calling these scene cards, is that right? All right, Fiery Islet. The Jackdaw, very cool. Regular border. We've got another Black Market Connections. Oh, that's just a rare, I shouldn't be putting it up there. But a still very good card. I think it's between 10 and $15 still, I think. Oh, look at that! Can you see that? That is textured. We're giving away a textured card. Ivor, Wolf Kissed. So not the best, but hey, it's textured. That is cool. The, wow, the, the texturing on this one, they did, they made it special on this one. And we've got an Edward Kenway as well in Etched. That's cool. All right, so let's take a look at this. They did the texturing in a special way. It's not the same as any of the other textured cards they've done in the past. Very cool. Very Assassin's Creed themed. Wow, that's really cool. Very cool. Hmm, I may have to pick up an etched version of some of the Assassins I actually like because that is a really cool texturing that they did for this set. All right. Path to Exile, not bad. Templar Knight, Shea Cormac, Cathartic Reunion, Leonardo da Vinci, very nice. We've got Mjolnir, that is a rare. Upside Down Desmond Miles, Showcase, and Aya of Alexandria, etched rare. All right, four packs left. So these are 12 pack boxes, but they're 10 card packs. Very interesting. The set is very small, which I think has something to do with why singles in general are pretty low, except for things like the etched, or not the etched, but the uh, textured cards. The textureds, and then the uh, serialized. Well, that's another thing I want to talk about, and I'm probably only going to be opening this box, so I guess I should talk about it now. Royal Assassin, an upside down Assassin's Trophy. And Cover of Darkness, etched. Um, the choice of the four uh, serialized cards. Now, I will say that it is really cool that they did the cards, like, in their language. So a couple of them are Greek, one of them's Egyptian. That was a really cool concept. But, honestly, they could have chosen way better characters. Like, they should have just done the actual assassins that you play as in the game. 
Like, that would have been way better. Because I don't really think, from what I've seen, the serialized cards are just not selling well. And they're not selling for as much as you would expect them to, either. Royal Assassin times two. So, an odd choice on their part. I think they should have done... I mean, an Altair or an Ezio serialized card. I bet those would have sold for a lot, but I mean, Assassin's Creed, or I mean, uh, Magic the Gathering Wizards, I guess, isn't really concerned about the singles resale price. They're just concerned about selling boxes. But honestly, singles prices and box prices are not disjoint. You know what I mean? So it seems like the set would have sold better if the serialized cards... Oh, nice! Leonardo da Vinci. Imagine if that had been serialized. That would have been cool. Borderless foil, Leonardo da Vinci. And then we've got Mary Reed and Anne Bonny. So, yeah. I mean, shoot, I'd probably buy and serialized Ezio. But anyway, yeah. I think it's a, it's a pretty good set. It's not amazing, but considering the small... The short run, the short print run, the small print run. I think 260, which is the current price, is probably a good amount. So I'm probably going to be picking a couple of these up just to save. Maybe do some breaks in the future. Temporal Trespass, that is a mythic. Royal Assassin, Upside Down Royal Assassin. And Javi the Allfather. Very cool. God Warrior. Interesting. All right, so we're giving away Ivor textured. Let's take another look at that texturing. Very cool. Very unique texturing that they did for this set. Very cool. All right, so leave a comment below. Make sure to, su to subscribe so you know when I post videos and you can enter every single giveaway that I do ever. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.